Hey guys, 413 open air. We got our chores done this morning. We got a load full of uh, firewood split and unloaded. Now we're gonna do a little uh, side job. We got our utility trailer here and we're gonna, with a little help, do some fabricating and make this a multi-purpose trailer. We're gonna use it for also hauling our boats for this float trips this summer. So stay tuned, we'll get some shots of that and uh, thanks for joining us again. It's a boat here. We brought it here so we can get some measurements on it and he would get it fitted on the trailer. So what he's doing is getting side mounts on like that and sort of like making a bar across the the trailer and we'll like have a Y beam up so we can like set our boats on it. It'll be like a tree system. Yeah. And we'll show you guys the progress of it. Stand up on me or not. <laughs> Think you can do it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm the wrong way. Hey guys, 413 Open Air. We wanted to show you our finished product of our canoe trailer. Uh, we're using our 12 by five uh, utility trailer. Uh, we had been using our utility trailer without the gate on uh, for several years hauling our boats. And it made it kind of difficult to get them all nestled together and sure enough, you're gonna hit a bump and then the ratchet straps come loose. Uh, so I was trying to figure out a way how we could use this as multi-purpose. Uh, had a friend of mine that uh, does a lot of uh, fabrication and he came up with a great design for us uh, and uh, we wanted to kind of share with you what uh, Skeeter came up with. All right, so this is the finished product. So when you look, what he did, he put receiver hitches on the, the frame of the trailer on the outside. Uh, that way, the actual trees of the uh, uh, canoe hauler, and kayak for that matter, and the receiver, a hole, so that way we can uh, put a pin through that or even a locking uh, 
pin so that way when it's sitting on the side of the river uh, decreases the chances of theft hopefully uh, but uh, yeah great work Skeeter thanks So as you can see, that was pretty quick to be able to get those off. They're very light, made out of aluminum. It's nice to have two people to uh, line them up to get them back into the receiver portion. So with the uh, front portion that we removed, that secures that to the trailer. And then there's that middle portion, that brace that we removed that uh, kind of makes it all one unit to brace it all together. And then he added some bracing down low to basically uh, help that. Limit the sway. All that weight distribution to the feet, I guess you could say, of the platform. Hope that helps. If you want to know more about it or want to know how it looks going on, let us know. But we're getting ready to put it up. Thanks again. 413 open air. Next time we'll be uh, loading this up, we'll be putting boats on it.